Hello there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. And just take a look at this 1969 Jackie Wilson vintage concert poster. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen one quite like this? Oh man, it's just brilliant and gorgeous and fairly simple in its layout. And sure, a little bit late in Jackie Wilson's career for 1969, but the way this thing jumps out at you, the graphics, it is just absolutely crazy. It's a really special small little poster, no doubt about it. A lot of things are carrying its brilliance. Among them, of course, as you can see, is just that brilliant day glow red orange on here. That is just so effective. It's crazy. Then you've got Jackie's name in really large letters with a cool font, just huge letters for his name there. And you've got a, a singular face shot right in the middle that sort of serves as a bullseye and right in the middle of the poster for Jackie's face. And then on either side of his head, you've got a pair of classic song titles, Jackie's Monsters, basically the first big hit and the last big hit of his career. So those are really effective too. So, boy, I'll tell you, it's, um, you know, it's a small poster with relatively few elements, but what elements it does have are just screamingly good. And by the way, yes, it was made by Globe Posters of Baltimore, Maryland, the kings of the Dayglo concert posters. So we're going to move in a little bit closer and take it from the top here. As you can see there, it does say The Castaways, and that was a very popular club for beach music and I, I imagine garage bands and so forth of the, of the day, um, on Arnold Street in Greensboro, North Carolina. No address given, just the street was enough at the time. And then as you can see, it's pretty simple, Sunday, February 23rd, 8 p.m. till 12 midnight. And then you've got one of Globe's uh, design touches, what um, we call clouds. Maybe they call it the Globe Cloud as well, but you've got that big orange Dayglo, uh, Dayglo cloud that sort of is the central element of the poster and serves as the backdrop for Jackie in the picture and the information. And then, I might have to get a little bit closer for it because it's above Jackie's name there, and you can see a song title is there, Whisper, okay? Well, I guess that's close enough. It's pretty close, not exact by any means. The hit record was actually called Whispers, parentheses, Getting Louder, and that was a top five R&B hit three years ago in 1966. But then you have the two monsters on either side of Jackie's face, two absolute the two most important records, I suppose, of his career. Now, Lonely Teardrops came out in 1958 and went into the national top ten pop charts, which made him a famous name among the general public, and it just burnt up the R&B charts. It was number one for almost two months in 1958 was Lonely Teardrops. And then on the other side, actually coming first, you've got Higher and Higher there. We all kind of know that one. That was um, his last ever pop hit and it hit the national top 10 in the fall of 1967. And, by the way, yes, it also went to number one on the Rhythm and Blues chart. Now, both also, moving a little closer, both of those great song titles are also framed by Globe Poster's ultra-cool design element, what I call action boxes, for lack of a better name. As you can see, they have all kinds of shaky lines around them and everything, and musical notes and spinning records. And, boy, that's such a nice touch for Globe posters. This is just a lovely, lovely concert poster, and it even has some bonus real estate. Usually window cards of this size were 14 by 22, as you might know if you've seen my blogs. Well, this one gives you some extra room up top, or bottom, <laughs> but it's 14 by 25 inches, give or take a little. So it just helps give it more impact for all this day glow orange red and just the killer graphics. A small and near the end of his prime concert poster for Jackie Wilson. I've shown you earlier ones and bigger ones and busier ones, but boy, I'll tell you, not ones with better song titles, those two killer, and I don't think any brighter ones. I mean, this thing is just really sweet, so hope you enjoyed seeing it. Thanks a lot for coming by, and we'll see you next time for something soon. Bye-bye.